All right. So hello, everyone. Welcome to Explore the Beat. We're so glad to have you here on this special day. Thank you for joining us. My name's Sarah. I work with Building Beats, a nonprofit organization based in New York, providing music and podcasting education to youth in NYC and LA and expanding. So Explore the Beat is a collaboration with New York Music Month Extended Play, which is an initiative through the Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment. Through New York Music Month Extended Play Initiative, we will be offering free music podcasting and production classes. And I think this is actually our last one. So again, thank you for being here with us. So I'm just gonna throw this out there just so you can check out the line, the previous lineup and then all of our blog posts associated with the past classes. You can check those out there. Now, today's workshop is beat making on the go, and you're gonna learn an array of mobile production tools for producing beats on the go, whether you're on the train, in the park, or just have some limited resources. We're gonna show you how to do that today. Now, your teaching artist will be Gonzalo Silva, AKA G Silva or DJ Rec, a DJ, remixer and producer hailing from Union City, New Jersey. He is a part of the famed Jersey-based group Brick Bandits crew and also co-founder of such popular local parties as Hashtag Thread and Tropicante and others. Now, with an upbringing providing a style with some have described as urban world music, his turntable and mixing skills have brought him success through mainstream outlets like MTV and Mad Decent, along with popular blogs like Do Androids Dance and Generation Bass. Now, if you have any questions or if you're experiencing any technical issues, feel free to send me a private chat or let me know. Now. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Take it away. Well, hello. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Gonzalo Sova. Thank you, Sarah, for the introduction. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be talking about um, how to make beats on the go. So I know a lot of us, obviously, we have cell phones and uh, mobile devices, and there's a lot of things out there. So, yeah, so there, there are uh, a lot Obviously, there's a lot of stuff that comes already with Apple. For instance, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, uh, more than likely you can download uh, GarageBand for, for free or already probably already comes with your device. Um, there's other apps out there and uh, for, for Android as well. Um, there's just not a big multitude of stuff that's, uh, in my opinion, is actually usable. There's a lot of fun stuff. There's a lot of games that you can play, um, but there's not really a lot of stuff on Android that's necessarily that usable, um, except for a few uh, apps. And unfortunately, I, I only have a MacBook right now and an iPhone. I used to have an Android. So there's other apps out there. There's one called Caustic that um, is very fun. And if anybody has uh, worked with a program called Reason, which is a very popular DAW, is very similar to, to Reason. And let me see if I can just share my my screen real quick. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So what, yeah, so if you have, if for, for the, for, for, I saw somebody that they said they had a Windows tablet. If you have a Windows tablet, this is a good alternative uh, if you use the Google Play Store. Um, Caustic is really good. Um, but that one's only available for Android. So, I'm just opening that with that one first because it's not something I'm, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you how it works. Oh, wait, they have Caustic now on app. Okay. So <laughs> I apologize. I didn't even know they have it now for Apple. But now this is the app, Caustic. Uh, again, very similar. Again, if anybody's ever used or seen Reason, um, it's very similar as far as how everything is stacked and how you can play with it. Um, but so for everybody else, since everybody here has an iPhone or um, a MacBook. So in our Building Beats uh, website, we have our toolbox. So in our toolbox, we have basically all the resources that we use. So I'm gonna actually drop that in the chat. So if people wanna get a chance, they have a chance, they can check it out. Um, so I'm gonna drop that in the chat, there you go. So everybody can explore when they have time later. But the few things that I really want to talk about as far as uh, obviously besides GarageBand, because it's something that everybody should have access to already, um, are some of these apps that we have available. Uh, for instance, our most popular app that we use in most of our teaching classes um, is Soundtrap. Uh, Soundtrap, um, another one that's on here, 
I want to kind of like group them together in a sense. Soundtrap and um, Foundation, Band Lab, and um, what's the other one? These are all very similar. They all have a very, oh, Audio Sauna. They all have a very similar way of uh, working. Uh, basically, it's all kind of like, it's all recording and kind of using uh, loops. I mean, that's pretty much what a lot of these apps allow you to do, but they're very, very, uh, there's a lot of different apps that are just instruments. And that's some other stuff that that's not on this list that I want to share with y'all. Um, another one that I like using too is Koala. And this one is actually free if you have uh, a MacBook. Um, this one is not free for, uh, for iPhone or Android users. I believe it's like four or $5 for the app. But if you have, uh, if you are using a MacBook, you're able to, to, to download it for free and use it. Now, <clears throat> I'm actually gonna show y'all Koala real quick. So this app, I have it on my phone. Um, it's, it's a sampling app. So this is not like a usual, it's not like a garage band. It's not like uh, Logic or, or even like Reason or Caustic. This one, you would have to create your own sounds. So for instance, if I wanted to sample something, I'm going to, I'm just gonna bang on this table real quick. So here's my sound. Now what's cool about this is because you can edit your sound. Now, once you start getting your sounds and you have, you have basically four banks of 16 pads, so you can fill in a bunch of different sounds in here and you can shape your sound. So for instance, if I wanted to add another thing, I'm gonna beatbox a little bit. I can take those sounds, chop them up and start creating my little drum pad, I guess, if you will. And here's my last sound. So now I got, And then from there, from sampling your sounds and uh, manipulating it by adding some of these effects, I can then create a sequence. And now the way the sequence works uh, is by just me playing in my parts. Now there's a little bit of a delay, so pardon me if it sounds a little bit off. So you have all your basic controls here, things like uh, BPM, which is right here. Um, you also have your metronome, which helps you keep count. So. And then of course, to record, you start recording, you hit the record button. And if you could see the little line that's going across, that's just showing me where I'm at in my beat. So I only have one bar of music, so I'm just gonna add something. Now, I said there was a little bit of delay. Um, one of the things you can do also here, if you press and hold this down, there you go. I have what's called a piano roll. So I can actually, since it's a little hard for me to actually play things on time, I can just add my sounds. Oops, right here. And then start creating my beat off of that. And then once you start building it out, the, the best part of this app for me is the performance. Now, again, this is great because it's all on my phone. You know, um, you know, if you're traveling around and even just around your house, a lot of the times uh, when I teach using this particular app, usually we start with a scavenger hunt <laughs> where you go around your house and you start to look for usually pots and pans and whatever, if you have an instrument in your house and then you can sample it and start creating your, your, your banks of sounds. And then the fun part about all this is then you can then perform it. And what you see here are all just different effects or after effects. So if I press play, I can start messing. And creating and messing around with my sound. So this is a very fun uh, app that I personally like. Um, 
And again, like I said, this is available uh, for free as, as a download on, um, on, uh, on, the, on the Koala app. And it's called Elf Audio Koala. And I can believe I put the, yeah, I put it in, in the chat already. So if you do have in uh, uh, Mac, I suggest getting this is very, is a lot of fun. Um, another one that's, again, this is something that you can, now Koala is something you can use both on Android and, and uh, iOS. It's a free download for only for Mac, uh, Mac users, MacBook users. Uh, on your phone, it would it's, I think it's going to be like a $5 charge. And Android, I believe, is uh, 4 or $5. Um, so that one is not a free one, but it's, it's fun and it's great to, to use. One that is free, and you might have to be careful by um, uh, because this one has a lot of, of ads, pop-up ads and stuff like that. So you can purchase the, the full versions of these. So as you can see, it's kind of similar to how Koala was laid out. You got a bunch of cells. Now, here's the difference between Koala and something like DPM or drum pad machine. These sounds are what are called uh, sound packs. So they're all kind of like sounds that are put together to form a song. Now, you, you have a lot of great parts in here. So I'm just gonna play some of the sounds that in this particular pack. And then you got the samples like really really nice sounds on here and one of my favorite things to do on here i mean there's a, several things you could do on here um you have lessons on here where you can i'm not going to even try to do it because the the delay on my phone and connected to zoom is so bad uh but basically what you could do is play a game and again don't mind the commercials <laughs> the pop-up ads uh, what you can do is learn how to do finger drumming and what that is, it'll basically play the rhythm. Oops, sorry. It'll play the rhythm. And then you're gonna have to try to uh, recreate that. Now, again, this delay is gonna be crazy. So let's see how it works. Oh, 85%, there you go, not too bad. But it's a lot of fun because, oops, all right. <laughs> it's a lot of fun because there is a lot of great sounds. It's called DPM. I'll put it in the chat for y'all. Or a drum pad machine. Now, my favorite thing, why I showed everybody Koala is because one of my favorite things to do with that particular DPM uh, uh, app is basically sample those sounds because those are really nice sounds and then manipulating them on Koala. Um, so that, that was a DPM. And if, has anybody ever played like, uh, what was that Guitar Hero? Yeah, it's very similar to that, right? It's like, you know, it's telling you which, which ones to play and how to play it and then you have to kind of play it back. So it's a pretty fun game. Uh, okay, okay, so, so actually Koala, uh, was actually based off the 404 and the 303, well, basically the sampling uh, uh, machines. So yeah, that's, that's what Koala is based off. So if, if you could definitely incorporate that with what you're using. Now, the reason why I'm asking this is because there's also a lot of free VSTs. Um, everybody's familiar with the VSTs are the, the virtual instruments that you can basically open up in your DAW. So if you use Logic Studio One uh, and Ableton, uh, I don't know if BandLab, I believe BandLab has their own built-in sounds. I don't know if you can use outside sounds, but again, a lot of these uh, apps allow you to record a sample. So here's another app that you can, now recently for uh, if anybody, Moog, uh, the company that makes synthesizers uh, for Robert Moog's birthday, they released all their synthesizers for free. So if you go on their app store, you'll find, uh, and if, the, if you're into hardware, I know, I know this is online, but uh, the sounds on, the, on this are incredible. And now there are actually two uh, instruments that they released. One was the Model 15, and the other one's called the Model D. This is kind of the one that a lot of people might be used to seeing, you know, the wood trim and, and these sounds are, phenomenal. So I'm sorry if that was too loud, but <laughs> um, 
and again, this is something you can go to uh, to the to the I um to the app site and just download for free. Again, this is only for iOS users. I don't know if they they've updated and set it up for Android users. Um, but if you're using this for your production, oops, sorry. If you're using this on your computer, you could also download it and use it as a VST. Now, on your computer, there's obviously a lot more you can do, um, you know, as far as recording and stuff. But on your phone, there's there's so much more that that's available. Um, at more more or less as tools, not necessarily as oops, sorry, not necessarily as uh, full on recording. But other than things like GarageBand um, and some of these other uh, apps that we have. So let me bring this up. I'll definitely, you know, um, one thing I'll, I'll definitely suggest if, uh, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of the, the DAWs or, or the, the recording software that's out there, they usually give you, uh, like right now, Ableton is offering like 90 days, a free trial for Ableton. Um, I know FL Studio offers like free trials. Now, you know, there's obviously the free trials are very limiting um, as far as like what you can do. I believe with like FL Studio, you can't save, but you get to use all their sounds and kind of like learn the program before you want to purchase it. Um, but there's other apps, uh, especially in our toolbox, that will kind of give you uh, like an introduction to it. And uh, hold on, let me find this app. Um, and what was great about it is that you can learn how to use these apps and then purchase it, you know, and get a little bit of experience on it. Now, there's, there's a lot of other apps that, um, and tutorials that I know we have on our website for building beats. One of the ones that I actually got put onto recently was this chord player, which is, which is a lot of fun. Now, some of these apps are, aren't necessarily, uh, they don't work so well on your phone, but they're great just to use on, on, on your browser. Um, another one that's kind of like my secret weapon, if you will, I'm going to share with y'all is Citizen DJ. So Citizen DJ Lab is, it's the Library of Congress. Now, the wonderful thing about this, I don't know how many people are familiar with sampling, but obviously there's a lot of sampling laws that are out there. Um, what this, what this allows you to do is that these are open samples. So you can actually, um, use them and, and they're fair use. Now, the, the crazy thing about this is that the way it's built is that you explore a wall of sound <laughs> and, um, let me zoom out of this. And what you do is now, I'm sorry, I'm going to see if I can lower my volume a little bit. This is going to be very loud. But basically you're gonna drag, oh, it's not that loud. You're gonna drag your mouse across this and it'll play a little snippet of a sound. Now, if you wanna get the whole context, this is just only a little, like a little sound, right? I can go play here, play in context. So now I'll play the whole sound. So if I go into the actual song, so if I go to um, explore, what it's going to do, oops, no, nope, not that one, sorry. Let's try that again. Okay. Sorry, remix this. Here we go. So what remix this allows me to do now, it opens up a little player where I can make a beat using that sample. Now, it already kind of chops it up for you and kind of creates it, which is cool because it kind of you know, gives you some ideas. So I'm gonna press play and let's see what it did to that uh, second Hungarian Rhapsody. Now, what's cool about this, again, this is using what are called, um, well, they're kind of like put into little categories. So we're inventing entertainment, there's a variety of stage sound and recordings, um, all these different type of recordings and stuff. Um, this one's interesting too, it's interesting too, the American English dialect recordings, you can get some pretty cool uh, vocal uh, samples from there. But what I like to do is I'll take these drums out or I mute them. And that's what the drum, this comes with a little drum machine too. So you can choose and create your, uh, you can choose the type of drum machine you use. You can create your own um, sequence. But what's cool here is that you can play this yeah, no, I use this all the time, especially 
um, especially when I'm trying to find vocals, I have a hard time like writing lyrics. So what I'll do is, uh, let me go to, uh, let me go to this one, oops. Uh, they have the, the Joe Smith collection. So this one is kind of cool because uh, these are recording, these are interviews rather, they're recording interviews of famous people throughout the years. So you got, uh, you got Jerry Lee Lewis, Jerry Garcia, uh, James Taylor, James Brown. Let's go to James Brown. So it's an interview on James Brown. So it's, let's see what happens. So that's obviously the person who's giving the interview. But if we go down here, that's where it's all chopped up. We can have access to all those little parts chopped up, or I can just play the whole entire excerpt right here at the bottom. Good afternoon, top notch, third world. Home of the Godfather, so may I help you? Becky is Joe Smith again. Like, just that sample, <laughs> I think that would be awesome, you know? Um, and if you go further down into it, there we go. Well, I mean, what, were they colorblind back then? No. No. And what kind of problems did you run into when you were trying to get started? Well, I was calling everything, and... That's James Brown right there speaking. So, I don't know if many people, if y'all know about sampling and James Brown and hip-hop, how much of a big deal that is. And especially how much of an of, of, uh, integral part of hip-hop he was, right? It's the godfather of soul. Now, here, you're going to get a free sample from his own voice. Now, it's not him singing, obviously. I don't know, maybe at some point in the interview, he might let out a yell or something. That'd be a good sample, too. But I think it's great because now you get an authentic sample from Godfather's Soul. And again, uh, beyond just those little samples, I can go further into it. For instance, if I, uh, oops, I don't want to download. It's okay to download samples to create music or something, but I well, actually, so I'm glad you mentioned that. So where do these sounds come from and how can I use them? Sorry, keys, old school. What's the best way to start programming drums rather than using already made? Best way to start. Okay, so let me answer two, those two questions. So the first one was about the sampling and Citizen DJ. So right here explicitly, it says how, you, how it can be used. This sound recording is free to use and reuse with proper attribution to the copyright owner, Joe Smith. You can copy, modify, distribute, and perform the work even for commercial purposes, all without asking permission as long as you clearly give proper attribution. So all you have to do is give credit to the people who are, which is you should be doing anyway when you're sampling. Um, but yeah, just give them credit. So you are able to use these sounds free, free of charge. Um, the other question was for people who write music on guitar keys, old school, what's the best way to start programming drums rather than using well, so here I showed you one drum, one way of creating like your drum patterns, right? So if we did the opposite, muted all these samples, now we're just left with these drums, right? Now this is like a pre-made drum pattern. Well, given attribution is you gotta give credit. And again, all that information is right here, contributors. So all this has to be appear on your, uh, in your information of your or whatever record that you're going to be uh, putting out. Um, so you, you have to give those people credit for it. Now they're not going to come back and charge you for it. You know, that's a, that's a good thing about this. Um, and there, there, I, and if you are looking for more uh, sample type stuff that are, that are not free though, but are uh, legally, you're legal, uh, you're able to use them legally. There's an app, there's a tr uh, website called Tracklib. I don't know if many people are familiar with this one, but Tracklib is, is great because you can, uh, not only can you buy the rights to certain samples and they deal, they'll handle all the percentages and all that kind of stuff that goes off to the artist and what you receive if you sell your music. Um, but it also, sometimes in some of those songs, they'll give you what are called stems, which are the individual parts of the song. So if you're looking for like, let's say, I don't know, a guitar sample from my, I, I'm gonna, I don't know who's on that particular site, but if you look at, oh, oh uh, who was it that was on there recently? Uh, oh gosh, mm, drawing a blank. But famous jazz artist was on there recently along with Ninth Wonder and I can't remember his name. Uh, but basically they'll offer stems, which will be the individual parts with all the individual instruments for these very popular songs. So if people who are interested in sampling, 
that's probably one of the easiest ways to go or the best ways to go. Now, back to your drums. Now, again, we have uh, you, where you can kind of create your patterns by using our, our sequencer, okay? And now this kind of sequencer kind of appears pretty much all over. Like if you use, uh, for people who are used to using Soundtrap, in, this appears in Soundtrap, um, I'll show you right now, as the drum machine. Now, if you're looking to create your drums um, by playing them, again, there's going to be a little bit of lag if I try to do it right now, but you can also play them on here. So, oops, let's start that real quick. So, this is uh, the drum pad or the patterns beat maker. So, again, kind of laid out very similar. You see, here's my drum, a hi hat, here's a drum two, a snare, a kick, a hi hat, a snare, a kick, a tom. And then if you look over here, here's my kick, snare, hi-hat, and then I could keep adding more and more sounds and very similar. So, and the way you build this um, for, I mean, very just simple, it's just, this is kind of set up in, in a four, four, four pattern. So if I wanted to just create a four on the floor and then I can just keep adding my, my drums, you know, just doing a little house beat. Let's put this back. You know, and then you can keep building your, your structuring your drums from there. Obviously, if you want a little more, uh, you want to make it a little more interesting, you go into your piano roll and get real uh, specific where, where you want your drums to kind of land and how you want it to sound. Um, but there's more, there's more tools out here, especially for drummer, uh, for drumming. One of my favorite ones actually to show students uh, about drums is Virtual Drummer. Now, this is actually a way for you to learn how to play a drum, but it also gives you, uh, by, by going to the drum lessons, uh, but it also gives you a, just a very basic uh, drum set to kind of learn all the different parts that go into a drum. Oh, is that me? this app sorry about that okay here we go oh okay so they actually turned this into a whole game <laughs> this is fun uh where's my drum okay okay yeah so they have things like drum lessons so you, you're able to learn if you have a drum set at home. But your question really was more about creating your drums outside of that. Um, another one that we have that's also pretty fun to use is if you're used to like old school drums or you really like old school drums, this is a lot of fun. Um, this is based on the 808. Now, you know, they're not, you know, just to, to kind of tell you, like, there's not a lot um, control over these. These are samples. This. The orig this original um, drum machine is actually an old analog machine, which the sounds are amazing, but yeah. But you can pretty much start making your drum patterns with this. Um, now, all this is based off samples, just so everybody understands. Uh, they're all recordings of sounds and you can manipulate uh, certain things like, like the volume. Second, I'm sorry about that. Okay, there you go. So I can change like the volume or the tone. And you get some very interesting results with that. It'll obviously change the tempo. And then the way you program this. So this is the fun thing for me. The fun thing about using all these different tools is that you learn uh, different ways of creating similar things. So like, if you want to learn how to create a drum pattern, well, here you go. You could learn how to use an you know, old school style drum machine, right? Where you have to choose each individual part and uh, program it. Now, you once you start doing this, you start to notice that it's pretty much the same thing, right? If you look at this, you see how you have 16 uh, 
parts all the way across. If you look at this, you got the same thing. So they're all pretty much laid out very similar. So once you learn how to use one, it, you kind of get, you know, you get the gist of it, you know? Um, the ones that are slightly different, if you will, uh, let's go back to here. So, um, so for instance, uh, yeah, all these are pretty much built kind of the same way. Um, one of my other favorite ones to use is something called audio tool. Now this is not a lot of these apps, uh, things like audio tool, um, and uh, what is the other word? Uh, Soundation. Um, these are these are apps that are kind of very simple. Yeah, all these apps are based off something that that you're probably already familiar with if you've been working with music. Um, like Sound Soundation is is pretty much uh, GarageBand. Um, yeah, if we go into this, oh, I don't have my account. But Soundation is pretty much like GarageBand. Now the one where is where it's slightly different is audio tool audio tools is another one of my favorite uh apps to use because it's it's sort of laid out so again i talked about another i spoke about one called caustic right caustic is a is an app that it's sort of like an entire rack of instruments and um for people who've used uh reason one of the fun things about uh reason was that you were able to flip or flip the instruments around and kind of look at all the plugs if you like using hardware reason is like one of the best ones to kind of get a uh, a good feel for for it's like if you don't have uh, like a big synth rack, you know, and you want to learn how to like plug all that stuff up and UCV and you know it's one of the best things to use. But um, this I love because the way that is laid out, this kind of shows you how kind of how how to connect things and how, and how the signal path flows. So for instance, if I wanted to, I don't know. Here's, here's my drum machine. Again, uh, the 808, one of my favorite drum machines. So we learned about the 808 by looking at this virtual uh, 808, right? What is it? Uh, oh, I already lost it. So we got this one, right? Right, very similar to, to that one, right? So now that you know how to program it, so now you can start programming this drum. But again, my favorite thing about this app is to see the connectivity. So let me close this. So if you see all these, does everybody see these cables kind of, kind of going across, right? So what's cool about this is that these are all, and let me just zoom in. These are all the individual sounds, right? This is, the, this is called the master output, right? Or stereo output, that's everything combined. But if I wanted to, I can go and just individually hook this up to this mixer and really like this is like a real life studio you know like i mean virtual <laughs> real life studio and what this allows me to do is really start to learn how to manipulate my sound so for instance on this not only can i you know uh bring it up an instrument let me go back not only can i bring up my instrument sorry about that hold on one second Sorry, I can't see most of my screen. This, this is closed. Okay, here we go. So not only can I use my instruments, but there's things like if anybody who uh, who ever seen a guitar pedal, they have all these little guitar pedals as effects. And again, to, to learn about connectivity, this is wonderful because you get to see how these effects can be used. So like you take a signal, right? And, and there's arrows that point in and out. So if I wanted to send this, into this uh, effect, I can just pull, oops, run the cable out and plug it right into here. See, now I have this effect. And again, I could turn it on and off. So it's, it, it works like, a, like what the physical, uh, the physical uh, instrument would actually do. So this is great just to learn uh, if you if you're if you're you know if you're a musician and, and you want to learn how to use a, a particular device, this is the one of the best ways to to kind of like learn it, because um, you get to kind of mess around with it without having to spend you know 
all the money that it costs to get all these all this stuff. And then when you do finally do learn how to use it and master it a little bit, then you can go and make that purchase. And now you got a better idea of how to utilize. It. Okay. So another one that's that's actually a lot of fun to use too is iMachine. Now this is not again this is not one that's for free, but opportunity to, for you to kind of like, um, you know, kind of like upgrade and kind of get some more. But the fun thing for me about things like uh, Machine and even Koala is that they have something that's called the Ableton link. And, and, for, and it doesn't mean that you need to even have Ableton to be able to use this. What the Ableton link basically allows you to do is that on a lot of DAWs, they'll have a link to connect to some of these apps. And what that allows you to do is to kind of play them together and kind of jam out. But uh, on things like Koala and even iMachine, you're able to just download the project and then open it up in another program. So that's really one of the things that you can you could do with, uh, with, with a lot of these apps that you find. They're, you know, a lot of them are just a great fun to kind of have on your phone and mess around with. But once you get back into the studio or if you, uh, or let's say you do create a beat on here, right? Right, you can create your, your, your pro, you can program your beat on here and then just record it right back into whatever DAW that you're using. So you're essentially just sampling your sounds. Um, so, and that's a lot of fun to do. Um, and, and then so, and the way iMachine works, it's basically you have four, four banks of sounds that you can use. Each one of these sounds, you can either choose pads, keys, or a recorder. And then to uh, get access to the sounds, you just go, oops, what we got? Now, all these sounds, again, these are sounds that are samples, and, um, but they're pretty, pretty well organized. So if you're looking for keys, for instance, you bring your keys. And now we can just, and then with the cool thing about this too, if anybody's ever used uh, the machine, which is an actual uh, uh, program and, 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 and uh, MIDI controller, uh, what you have here, and this also appears on things like uh, Ableton and a bunch of other things, you can choose a scale and chords. So I'm not, I'm not a, uh, I don't play instruments. I'm more of a, I've been a DJ all my life. So a lot of the stuff that I do is based off uh, remixing and sampling. And, you know, a lot of the, uh, yeah, the, most, of, most of my creations is uh, based off that. So to be able to use something that gives me the scale and chords is so clutch. And it, quite honestly, there's a lot more that I probably want to share with, with everybody because there's so many great uh, apps out there. Now, the, the unfortunate side of it, the unfortunate thing about it is that a lot of these things like that Moog uh, um, free download is only for a limited time. So you really got to be out there just searching free software and see what comes up whenever it does and just kind of jump on it. Um, uh, what other one that they came out recently? Oh, no, that was Isotope. But anyway, yeah. So, you know, you just got to be out in the field and finding sounds that, that kind of interest you. And I'm going to put, once again, I'm going to put in, in the chat our building beats toolbox because uh, we constantly update that page with a bunch of cool tools, not just, and again, not just, uh, not just audio based. There's actually some video stuff in there. There's even stuff to help you write uh, poetry. Uh, there's like tone generators for, for like, like, a, like, a, like a type and speak kind of stuff. So if you wanted to sample that, that's actually kind of fun too. It's like a robotic voice. Um, and, and just, yeah, just, Things to, to be or to be able to create and add to your art, which is really what's important here. Well, the the best way to use the samples without copyright is the the Citizen Lab, uh, Citizen DJ Lab, uh, the Library of Congress. Uh, that's just like, yeah, this is one one of my favorite uh, sites for that. Um, that's the one that explicitly tells you that you can use those samples. Uh, the other website that I was talking about was Tracklib. Uh, Tracklib is a place where you can uh, sample, and but you have to purchase the rights for it. But what what what's cool about that is that you don't have to like you don't have to go to the label or go and talk to the artist or anything like that. 
they already give you a breakdown as far as what you pay and how much you get back and what percentage is yours and what goes to the artists and labels and blah, blah, blah. So it, it's less of a headache. And the cool thing about it is that uh, there's a lot of like very famous music on there. Um, uh, just and then the uh, other part about it is that you're getting all the individual stems. So if if you're if you're familiar with sampling, especially when it comes to hip hop, there's a lot of not just be, beyond the copyright, uh, but just in production. You know, if you want to sample something and you don't want the drums in there, there's got to you know you got to do a lot of filtering, a lot of fiddling to kind of get that to work and to make it sound good. So things like Tracklib offer you uh, the ability to get the stems where you'll just get the drums or you'll just get the bass and the guitar and the piano separate. And then you can kind of put it together and make your own. All right, cool. Um, well, you know, I just want to thank everybody for joining us. Um, and, you know, don't forget on our blog, we have all the past workshops that have happened. There's videos, there's resources for them. I'm going to drop a link for that. And also, if you want to join our Discord, where you can trying to continue the conversation on there. So feel free to join. I'll send those links over right now. Um, but yeah, just feel free to check out that blog. Um, this should be up within the next week on our website. And again, thank you for joining us for our last class. Um, and you know, we hope to see you in the future. Keep an eye out for future Building Beats workshops coming up. We got some things cooking up, but bye. Thanks everybody. Thank you everybody for joining us.